Hey everyone, welcome to the E2 Effective Elders podcast. Visit us at e2elders.org and please share this good word with others. Welcome back to E2 Effective Elders, our podcast. You know, this month of December, we are focused on our last and final good word of the year. All year long, we've been looking at a different word every month. And uh, the month of December is this word, faithful. How grateful we are that the Word of God calls us to be faithful. Now, I want to introduce you to this incredible lady, a dear friend of both Leah and myself. Uh, we call her Granny Annie, but let me just tell you, this is Ann McLean, and I'm literally in Ann's house just down the street from our house here on South Eaton Avenue in Indianapolis. And thanks for taking time to be with us today. Are you glad you're here? It's my privilege to be here, yes. Great, and thank you for saying yes to helping us with our story today. Certainly. Yeah, and uh, the reason why I wanted to just sit here so that you could get acquainted with Anne is Anne epitomizes the word faithful to Jesus. Now I know Leah tells me, Gary, never ask a woman her age. So I'm going to come in through the back door. Can you tell us how young you are? I am 95. 95. And on uh, April the 28th next year? I'll be 96. 96. Yes. And uh, uh, we, we are really good friends. You're, you're like a mom to Leah and to me. And uh, why don't you tell us a story about your mom when you were younger? And what was important to your mom for her daughter? I can say now how much I really, really appreciated my mother because... More so than I even do now, I think back, how she made sure that I knew Jesus. Mm -hmm. I uh, went to Bible school when I was very, very young, probably six years old. Mm -hmm. And I went all the time until I was probably 12 uh -huh. years old. And at that time, I think I remember memorizing the 23rd Psalm and uh, all the crafts and the fun that I had at our church. Mm -hmm. So from a young age, you remember being introduced to Jesus. That's right, yes, yes. And all my life, I have known Jesus is in my heart. I may not have always done what he would have me to do, but it was always a thought in my mind that what I should do. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Thanks to my mother. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, over the years, mm -hmm. then decades really, mm -hmm. uh, you have been in a walking, talking relationship with the Lord. Um, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about what that looks like uh, to you even to this day. Um, has it just been about going to church or is there something more to it, Anne? No, it's not going to church. It's actually knowing mm -hmm. that you have the faith that the good Lord is always with you at mm -hmm. all times. Mm -hmm. At all times, I've had lots of trials and lots of disappointments in my life, mm -hmm. and uh, but Jesus has always been there. Mm -hmm. He's been faithful. He's always been faithful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and no matter what happens, it's, it always turns out it was okay. Mm -hmm. And maybe something better happened mm -hmm. later. You just never know. But always, always know that you're never alone. Oh, that's powerful. Never alone. And, um, you know, Leah and I, we know your story. Uh, but can you share with people, for example, uh, on the road of life, when have been a couple of hard spots for you when you realized you were never alone and Jesus was with you? 
Well, I guess in 1999, my oldest daughter, Sally, passed away with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And to lose your daughter is almost unbearable. Mm -hmm. And I can remember how hard it was to lose her. But then, in 2005, my younger daughter, my only had two daughters, mm -hmm. my youngest daughter, Jan, had cancer and passed away in 2005 with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And to lose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. both of my girls to breast cancer was mm -hmm. unbearable. Mm -hmm. And I really was to the point where I thought, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Am I being punished or I just, I was just beside myself after losing my second daughter. I just thought I, what's the use? Mm -hmm. But then the time came, praise the Lord, that I could thank the good Lord for giving me my girls for 47 and 49 years mm -hmm. because neither one saw 50. Mm -hmm. It was just hard, but just knowing that I had faith and it, it was it was the will of the Lord mm -hmm. and I I accepted it finally, but it was hard. Yeah, of course. Incredibly hard. And <clears throat> you know, um, again because you're faithful to the Lord, uh, you're hoping for an incredible reunion. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yes. It's it wasn't goodbye it was mm -hmm. just that i'll see them again yes it's just a matter of time right mm -hmm. yeah right. and that that is consolation to me mm -hmm. to know that they're both there yes and i will see them again yeah. yes to be yes. absent from the body is to be home with the lord oh, yeah that's right you know um hey miss uh, young 95 year old i know that you've got a favorite bible verse and uh, what what's that favorite Bible verse? Oh my, oh my! Uh -huh. um, let not your heart. your heart be troubled. Trust in the Lord. And the, Jesus said on the way to the cross, "Trust, Trust also God. in me, for in my Father's house are many mansions." If this were not true, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you with me that where you are, I will be with you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. To me, that is consoling. Absolutely. Full of hope. Yes. Full of hope. Yes. You know, um, it says in Revelation chapter 2, Jesus is speaking there, and he says, Be faithful mm -hmm. even to the point of death, mm -hmm. and I will give you the crown of life. And uh, you epitomize for all of us what it looks like to be faithful one day at a time. Um, we're looking forward to uh, uh, the tomorrows of life. You know, a lot of the people... They don't realize it, but I drive down our street here, and you're out mowing your lawn. You're out trimming your shrubs. Uh, you are on the go. As a matter of fact, um, Ann <clears throat> has introduced other people on our street to Jesus because of her friendship with a neighbor right across the street. Uh, I was privileged to immerse her neighbor when her neighbor was 94 years old, and uh, she just celebrated her what birthday? 100. 100 years. Yes. And because of our little evangelist here <laughs> telling good news of Jesus to the neighbors, yes. we've got a wonderful neighbor on her way to heaven someday. 
And then you introduced another one of our neighbors, and she's coming to the creek because uh-huh. of you. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> you've even made some neighbors not quite so happy because <laughs> of telling them about Jesus. So. But I pray every day that she will seek the Lord. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. I pray every day. You have such a heart uh, for people, and. And, and such a good heart for your, your neighbors. You know, uh, it's a person like you that makes living in a neighborhood here uh, so worth it. Yeah. You know, after losing both of my girls, I don't know if I could have made it if it hadn't been for you. Mm-hmm. Well, and Leah. Yeah, well, we, uh, we, we want to do life together, truly, uh, in every sense of the word. You know, um, Tell us about your bananas again. Well, you have a rule of thumb when it comes <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to bananas. What's your rule of thumb? Well, I always tell everybody I don't even buy green bananas. Because why? Well, when you're 95, you might not even get to enjoy them. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There you That's go. That's just a joke I carry yeah. with me because I'm old. Yeah. But you're young at heart. Dear lady, well, yeah. mm-hmm. I uh, and you know the it, good Lord has been good to me. I have to admit because in my seventies, my health was worse than it is mm-hmm. now. Hmm. So I've I've been blessed. Yeah, you have been, and you realize that, and you are so authentically grateful for that. And uh, you know, w- we just want to say thank you to you for being an incredible example of what it looks like to be a real, authentic, genuine follower of Jesus. You are uh, a faithful daughter of God, and it is so easy for us to see Jesus in you. So uh, we say thanks, Anne. Thanks for telling us your story. And thanks for giving to us a good example that in the strength of the Lord, we can be faithful one day at a time, sweet Jesus. Thanks for taking time with us. We appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my okay. heart. Now, are you going to make uh, me that one bowl of potato salad just like my mom used to make? I'm going to. Okay, great. Awesome. I'm going to. All right. Well, God bless you. Thanks, everybody, for visiting us. Thank you.